Hey everybody, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. This is a bit of a disclaimer. I just want to make it clear that I'm not a professional mechanic or an expert still in the head porter. Okay, so this is the perspective of someone who probably, like you, enjoys working on their own car and building his own things. Kind of like the original meaning of the word DIYer. Okay, with that in mind, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Okay guys, before I show you how cool my new die grinder is and why I'm so excited, I want to show you what I was working with before. So I bought this grinder over 13 years ago, okay, and it has never let me down. This is actually a total beast, okay, this will grind through anything and I've uh, ported cylinder heads, intakes, I've uh, ground down nuts, rivets, anything you can imagine in 13 years and it still works like new no problem at all so the motor on these things can spin up to 25,000 rpm all while the carbides that I was using tend to survive in about 7 to 10,000 rpm so that's more than twice the recommended speed for this I was sometimes wrecking these in just a few minutes what I did to try to fix the situation is I got myself a router speed control and this in fact did make it a little bit better and I was able to use the grinder for as long as I have but I just knew that there had to be a better way somewhere let me show you how this works okay so I'm gonna put it at full speed first okay. and I'm gonna go ahead and lower it So that's a lot better, but still it's not the speed control that I would love to have, okay? And that is where my new HOG 9000 comes in. I'm just kidding guys. This is the part number for anyone who is interested. Let me show you the tool now. Okay guys, so here's my new tool. Let me get you guys a better look at it. So this is a die grinder that is made by DeWalt. As you can see, it's brushless. It's got this pretty cool trigger style switch, which is better than the other grinder. It also has this cool built-in LED light at the tip so you can see where you're grinding but the most important thing to me is this here you can see there that it has built-in speed control okay so it goes from 25,000 to 20 to 15,000 to 10 all the way down to 7500 uh, rpm so that is the lower range there is perfect for what I'm gonna use it for let me connect this and test it out here we go okay so you can see there that the light is on so when you're grinding especially inside the cylinder head ports or the intake ports you'll be able to see uh, what you're doing better okay so right here is where you get to choose how fast or slow you want it to go I'm gonna start it off at the highest speed okay just to Look at that. That is at the lowest speed setting. That is just perfect. Alright. I'm so anxious to give this thing a try.
I don't know about you guys, but this is the coolest tool I've ever had. So that tells you everything you need to know about why I'm so excited to use this tool. In regards to the title of this video, do I really think this is the best setup for a DIY in your garage cylinder head porting? Yes, I do. And does it beat having a giant air compressor and air tools? Probably not, but you gotta keep in mind that regular people like me don't have access to a huge air tank and this is by far in my opinion the best option okay what's the downside uh, the downside is the price because this was in fact a little bit expensive uh, it was around three hundred and fifty dollars plus tax okay so it's close to four hundred dollars but in my opinion now keep in mind I haven't used it yet I haven't put it to the test but it was worth every dollar okay so what am I gonna use it for in my next video I'm gonna be porting and polishing this set of cast iron E7 heads from a Ford Mustang if you're interested in seeing this tool in action please hit like and subscribe take care guys and thank you for watching